excited to announce the man you've all been waiting for. He's a Nog favorite. He's back in town. Give it up for Caleb Pounce. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. You know what? No, no, you just play, play, play it. Start playing it again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go one more time. Yeah! yeah. Oh man, I don't have enough material for 20 minutes, so I hope that killed. <laughs> I killed like 45 seconds, so I think we're good. I had one bit that I was like, I don't want to do that one, so I'll just run around the bar. And we're all good. It'll be great. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. This is my favorite place in the world, which says a lot. It says a lot about my childhood, but <laughs> it's so great. I, I just, I, just when I die, bury me behind the nog. Uh, it won't be hard because I will have overdosed in the parking lot. So whoever finds my body, just start digging. <laughs> Make it shallow, please. Shallow grave. Sometimes, sometimes when I'm here, I just like to get the old bar rags and, and bring them to my house and just kind of wring them out over my body. <laughs> like that scene in Witness. <laughs> Where Harrison Ford is watching that honest chick take a sponge bath. <laughs> and it just makes me feel like like a like a man. <laughs> I don't know. That was, that was weird. Um, God damn. I uh, I'm happy to be here. Something do you guys ever like see like a real drug addict? <laughs> this is what I <laughs> obviously. That's outside. <laughs> Sometimes I will see like a real one, like, and I'll just look at him and I'll be like, I don't judge, I don't feel superior, I'm just like, I get it, <laughs> like, you're just braver than me, <laughs> so you've got real problems down there in your ditch, I'm over here going to work on Mondays like a pussy, you're out there fighting the good fight. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Someone, I should probably call somebody. <laughs> because he's dead. Um, uh, I'm going to talk about Jesus. I uh, hope you guys are down for that. Everybody, this is the place to do it. <laughs> this is where he would have done it. <laughs> this is the place to do it. I love talking about Jesus. I think he's a great dude. Um, I know I look like a youth pastor that got tattoos to try to like relate to the kids. <laughs> but, but that's fine. Uh, I, I get the, the uncomfortability of talking about religion. I remember the first time when I was a kid uh, going to church. We went to church my whole life. I didn't remember going to church until I was like five. I just like kind of snapped into consciousness one time in the back of the car. I was like looking around. I was like, we're going somewhere. <laughs> Everyone's all dressed up. <laughs> like, it's funny when you're poor, but everyone's wearing a suit. <laughs> where could we possibly be going? I was like, where are we going? And then everyone in the car was just like, we're going to church. That's a new word. I was like, oh, what is that? It's like, well, we go into a building, and we learn about God. So, of course, my five-year-old brain is trying to contemplate the discovery of a higher power. <laughs> I'm nowhere near capable of comprehending what that could even mean. And so, all I could think to ask was, well, is it fun? <laughs> My dad looked in the rearview mirror and made direct eye contact with me and he said, no! <laughs> no, it's not, but we have to go. <laughs> like, but, I don't know, I, I, I'm not religious anymore, but I, I, I'm, I'm spiritual. <laughs> Which means that, like, I'm just a bad person that has, like, justifications for the dumb things that I do. And that's all spirituality is, is trying to, like, rationalize why you do stupid shit. Um, 
Like, for instance, sometimes I will wait to pee until I'm in the shower uh, because I think it feels zen. <laughs> My wife's like, you're disgusting. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just in the Tao, baby. <laughs> I am one. I can't tell where the hot water ends and the hot piss begins. But I'm just in the middle of it. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> Something you should know about me. I'm a little quirky. <laughs> I lie as much as everyone else does. And that's any time it's convenient, or at least more convenient than the truth. That's, that is all the time. And I think you should, I think you should lie whenever you have it. It's the best gift the devil ever gave to us. It's so great. But I don't like, I, I'm honest about my lying. Because I don't like when people have a superiority complex about the fact that they're just shitty liars. They're just like, I can't lie, it makes me feel bad. I get guilt. It's like, that's not guilt, that's anxiety that your shitty lie's not gonna hold up. <laughs> How about you work on your story progression and your fucking character development a little bit more? Get up here with us pros that lie constantly. <laughs> My entire life is held together by a series of lies where if one of them falls apart, everything I know goes away. But I'm a fucking great writer. <laughs> I didn't keep the timer on, but I got the light, so I'm gonna see what it means. I'm done. Uh, I bet, I, I've always, I've always wanted like a simpler job, right? Sometimes I wanna settle down and just give up on my dream. I don't know if you've ever given up on a dream before, but it's kinda like canceling plans, but forever. <laughs> There's this sense of just relief watches over you, like, oh, I never have to worry about that again. I think if I was going to do anything, though, it would be like to move out to like Scotland and just be like a sheep herder. But then I realized like it's their job to, to make sure all the sheep are there. <laughs> That's got to be pretty tough. Because <laughs> you get up to like 70 or 80 <laughs> and then you just get fired every time. <laughs> We're falling asleep on the job. <laughs> this is stupid, but bear with me. <laughs> You're just going out there like, oh, come on, Steve, you can do it this time. <laughs> you got to pay the rent. This is the fourth job you've had this year. All right, here we go. One. Okay, we're starting strong. All right. We had a little coffee. We're good. Two. <sighs> Fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> here we go. I should have stayed out of that. I should have stayed out so late last night. All right. Three. Oh, I'm like, oh, no. My mom's going to leave me. Four. No. Fuck, shit, it happened again, shit. Steve, 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 listen to me. Steve, wake up. Wake up, Steve. Stop dreaming that you're at a comedy show in Daytona right now with some guy screaming at you. I don't know if he's supposed to be you, your subconscious, or whatever. He's trying way too hard to make this joke work. I don't know if he's ever gonna give up on it because it's way too meta to be funny. Steve, wake up. One day there will be a Steve who decided to take a bunch of mushrooms and go to a comedy show. And that guy's gonna shit his goddamn pants. And we're all gonna laugh. And then we're gonna look on in horror as we realize his brain just exploded out of the top of his head. And we're all just projections of his subconscious, man. <laughs> And we just have to sit here in impending doom as the universe implodes around us. That's my religion. We hold our meetings every weekend behind the Arby's at the dumpster. It's a million dollars a year to join. <laughs> Payable to me in Hobby Lobby gift cards. Thank you very much. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for that.